Oh, this is sliding. See, I need something like freaking. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, so, um, oh, this is so like awkward for some reason. I need to stop talking about that. So, I was saving up some money to get a stereo for my mom's truck. So, that's what I did. I mean, I have... <clears throat> box right here with the subs in it which I probably should take one out to show you guys when I, we get there or yet yeah. um so I was reviewing some stuff originally I wanted to do I wanted to go with some uh, scar uh, uh scar audio but uh so, I got this Kenwood right here. This um, BT360U. This right here. Originally, I was gonna go with a different one. I mean, it was still Kenwood, but it, it, it was not, it didn't have a CD player. But I went with this one anyways. So, <clears throat> I got this. And you guys, you, you guys can look right all this right here. It's not backwards. I hope it's not backwards. So, I got this. I installed it. And compared to the one that it had in, in the, the, compared to the, the deck that it had or receiver, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's right here. I'll just get it real quick. It came with this. Yo, what the? Anyways, came with this JVC. I don't even know what. It's a JVC. Play CDs. It. It's also it's Dolby Digital. Plays reading DVDs and all that stuff. You know. Um. So, took this out. Put this one in. It brought the speakers alive, I would say, and made them sound more clear. And this is, well, this is one of them anyways. So this one is the blown one. It's, there's six by eights. Yeah, there's six by eights. All the way around, four door. It's a Ford, so, yeah. It had these kicker, k 57s which I searched them up and I could not find really like I, I want to see like when these came out but I could not find anything so there's these coaxial speakers I don't even know how many watts or anything but that's the first thing I did the first thing I did was change the the stereo and it Made the speakers sound more clear, definitely more clear. So that's a plus. And on to to the to the the speakers that I bought, the the, the six by eights, the, the door speakers, the the speakers. Um, <clears throat> I bought two pairs of these kickers i don't even know what i mean they're coaxial speakers but i don't even know like if it's a certain name or whatever kicker cs it says cs on the speaker um so 
Yeah. These speakers, the bass on them right now, because I don't have the subwoofers in yet. I'm still waiting on an amplifier and wiring. But these, these speakers, they sound better than what was in it anyways, but the bass on them is not the best, which I'm, I don't really care about that right now. Well, I care about it right now, but when I put the subwoofers in, I'm most likely going to turn the bass down on the speakers. So that way, that's a deeper bass, and so that way it could play louder without getting distorted. So, I bought these at a stereo shop where I live for, let me see, I have the receipt right here, or receipts. Two eighty. Two hundred eighty $280 for two pairs of these and this was $84 and then plus tax was like $91 except I, did, I got this at Walmart this the stereo I got the stereo at Walmart and I got these speakers the speakers at a stereo shop then I got if I could get the box and these are gonna fall, so, so hold up. Technical difficulties. All right, so, um, okay. I must not have, okay, hold up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got these shallow mount subwoofers because, well, I mean, kinda had to. It's an under seat box. Um, so, Hyphonics Brutus Shallow Mount Shallow Dual 4 Ohm Subwoofer BXS 12D4. And it's a shallow mount. Or they're both shallow mounts. I have just two. I got two of them. Um, let's see. Okay. All the. the, the The specs right here. The power handling RMS is 250 watts, which that's not a lot. In my opinion, that's not what I'd want for continuous power, but it'll do. Power handling peak, 500 watts. Impedance, two. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Freaking hard drop in my phone. Oh my god. Um, I'm recording this on my phone too. Eventually, I will, I will get better at this, I'm sure. So, um, are you? Come on, stop me now. Very technical difficulties. All right. So, anyways. Okay, it's not gonna fall. Two by four ohm, or two and four ohm. I don't know. Um, the sense this. Yo, is it? Oh, okay. Um, the sensitivity is eighty-three dB. The cutout. Us. I think that, yeah, that's, that, that's, their depth from the flange is 3.7 inches, 78 millimeters, but, um, so yeah, and I have, well, I'm going to run a boss, it, it's kind of like, probably not the best amp, but I'm going to be running a 1500 watt boss armor amp to it to these subwoofers which it probably doesn't really run 
is fifteen hundred is probably its peak, but so here I have the this heavier than I thought, kind of. Um, man, I'm making this more difficult than it has to be. Hold up, guys. All right. So, I got the, the subwoofers are right here, right? I got two. They're they're twelves. Hyphonics. Can't even see. They come. They they come with a grill or not a grill like a cover for where the screw this where you put the screws so let me just pop this off real quick it says iphonics at the bottom um so yeah so i think well i remember saying polypropylene something like that Poly, po probably I don't even remember, but um, the box. I'm not too sure about the box. I just know that I bought it. So yeah, this morning I put the subwoofers in the box because one time I hooked up some subwoofers with the box already where it was supposed to be, and yeah, it was not good. But I learned from my mistake. So. I don't know if I should take the subwoofer out. I'm debating. Uh, well, I don't think I have to. So, so uh, these are pretty stiff. They're not broken. They're they're not. Never been used yet. Brand new. All this stuff's brand new. All the speakers and the yeah, everything's gonna be brand new or is brand new. Uh, these are twelves. I already said that. The I don't know a mid roll surround. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure about some of the stuff, but. The subwoofers have push terminals. It's, yeah, they're push terminals. And the box has push terminals or quick release. Same thing, I'm sure, pretty sure. Anyways, quick, quick release push terminals. So, yeah, we're gonna put this back on. If I could get it. So, yeah. so under seat box. It's probably like. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure about the box. Honestly, but so this is a review, I guess, and I will keep you guys updated on what these sound like, and I will give you guys a demo, I guess, of what it, how everything sounds. I don't know when though. It should probably be on this up, well, I don't know where y'all live, but on Wednesday, it, it it's, uh, that's when I should have everything, the amplifier and the wires. 
because the amp is supposed to get here tomorrow, but I still need the wiring. Unless I go out and get the wiring tomorrow. So. And this is a sealed enclosure. It's not ported. So. But I'm going to have to take out the stereo, the decks, and run the, all the RCAs and the power wire, or not the power wire, the remote turn on wire for the amp. And I'm going to have to run it to the amplifier. So. That. Soon. But they're pretty stiff. Uh, I just know that these need to get out of my sight. Because I'm going to keep messing with them. But, uh. So, yeah. I'm still learning some stuff. But, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you even made it this far, ah, yeah, this, I need to get better at this. But thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. Which you'd probably, uh, I don't know. Um, Yeah, like, subscribe. Man, do what you gotta do. I, that, that's all I gotta say. Do what you gotta do. A after you do what you gotta do, as long as you do you, you'll be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I I'm pretty sure you know that. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop being awkward. So. Peace. I mean, I can't really end the video with this in my lap, so. Give me a second. Well, yeah, yeah, dog. Peace on me. Have fun.